This is the video answer for exercise 2 of Project Steelkey. In this exercise, you need to create a limited account for a new user called Jordan. So to start, uh, you need to log in into the CEPAM console. And you notice because of the previous exercise, now you have access to two checkbox here. Remember my password and remember my username. So check those two and log in with the documented uh, credentials. Like this, you won't need to type a password uh, for the rest of the course. So just a quick setup for you that will save you a lot of time later on. So let's go. We go accept always. And now we have access to our CPM console as an administrator. So we're going to the admin section. We're going to, uh, you can see here I have admin, I have my username Jack Carver, and we're going to add a new administrator. So username Joe. All right, and then we put the, the email address, which is important for password reset and reporting. Okay, so we're going to uncheck the, uh, the lock facility for the password. In production, of course, you would keep those to prevent tampering with a password. Somebody tried to gain access with an account. Uh, like this, you have the ability to, to lock and notify by email uh, that somebody tried to force the password. For this test, we're actually unchecking it just to make sure we are uh, in the safe zone. So we're going to look at access right. So this account has to be limited because uh, it's new employee. We don't we don't know if he has much experience with the console. So we might just want to give him access just to view reports and uh, manage groups. Okay. So we just check those two boxes. Here, if you look at group rights, this is not part of the exercise, but just to expand a bit on this, you can see you have the whole file structure. So far we have full access, but we could also say, okay, this is a new user. We can actually right click on the root of the structure and put read only. So like this, you're sure the user wouldn't actually modify anything. You just will have a read access to, um, to monitor systems. So we're just going to click OK. Then we need to go to the authentication place and put password never expire and set the password as documented in the lab guide. Now the, the account is created, so we're going to click OK. We're going to log off. Login as Joe. The password is the same as uh, we, we had before, so just don't even need to type it again. We accept the certificate. And now we'll be logged in as a limited user. So going to answer the questions you had. So can you access the report view? So you can see we can, we can access it. Can we access the manage server? So if I'm going to admin. You can see here, I have no option. I, the only thing I can do is change my own password as the user Joe. So this concludes exercise two of Project Steel Key.